And let me see you, Miko. Lovely. What'd you do, huh? Let me see it. Yeah, that's what you look like. You girls are pretty fluffy. Oh! Do you feel so much better now that you're all clean? Hello, my name is Kate Ann. Welcome to Habits of a Modern Hippie. There are puppies in here already. One, two, and uh, as you can see, lovely, as you can see, they are very muddy. I'll pop in a clip here. Um. I may have made a mistake letting them play in the water and then <laughs> letting them play. Nico, what did you do in Tinkerbell? This is why I need to plant my backyard. Tink, you look like a different breed of dog. What is this, huh? What is this? Look at you. You look so happy with yourself though. And let me see you, Miko. Lovely. What'd you do, huh? Let me see it. Yeah, that's what you look like. Silly geese. Oh my goodness. This will be fun tonight. Essentially, I was playing with them with a hose, went inside, came back out, and I had two very, very muddy Samoyeds. One of the great things about Samoyeds is that they have essentially what you'd call hair instead of fur, so it doesn't stay as dirty. So it's not really as bad as you'd think. So while Miko used to be like full brown, she's like white-ish now, but they haven't had a good bath in a long time. So I figured while they're this dirty, I might as well go in and give them a quick little bath. Hi, can you say hello? Say hi. <coughs> that was a good hi. But a quick little bath, and I'll just give you kind of some tips as to how make tips as to make your bath. Wow, I cannot speak. Just some tips to help make your dog bath a little bit easier, especially if you are doing it inside because it's dark right now and I'm not doing it outside. So let's go. Are you in here now? Is that what's going on? So. I'm going to blow dry my dogs in this bathroom so all of the things that could get fur on them are all going to be removed unless I want to be picking fur off toilet paper etc later. I've already cleaned out the shower so nothing's in there but uh here it goes. So what goes along with removing everything from the bathroom is essentially I guess tip one is preparation. It is the worst thing to be like in the middle of washing your crazy furry dog and missing something. So you always wanna make sure that you have your shampoo and conditioner. I use the um, Earth Bath line. Earth Bath also has a really nice, um, it's like a coat brightener one. I just don't have that in right now. So we have vanilla almond, vanilla almond, and the oat melon aloe. I also have specific towels that I keep in my house. Like, I don't even know where this color came from. It's not in my color palette at all. That are just for dogs. God, I'm so dirty from you. So dirty. And you can tell, like, Tinkerbell had already lied down here. So this bathroom needs to be cleaned anyway. But yes, have your towels ready. Have all of your tools ready. And this is my Dyson that is in this guest bathroom because my mom steals it all the time and she was the last person that was here. So that is there. I just don't want it getting wet so it's staying in the drawer for now. And last but not least, this needs to come out and I'm gonna go grab their comb. So step number two is training. Essentially, the more trained your dog is, the more they're gonna get used to getting groomed, things like that. I have a how to groom your Samoyed 101 when it comes to like brushing and all of that that you guys wanted to see I'll link that wherever it is somewhere around here I'm looking into a mirror so I my sides are flipped and essentially just train your dogs I know that's not particularly helpful now but as it goes along you'll be able to 
um, get more and more used to it. I started with puppies, etc. But if you want a full training video on how I got my dogs used to getting baths, let me know and I'll pop that below. But training, it just makes it easier when it comes to you guys. Take a bow. Can you get in? Yep, get in. Come in. Me, Goldie for B. Good girl, Tinkerbell. So there's no fight to get her in the tub or anything like that. But you are such a good puppy. Yeah. And tip number three is pick the best bathroom in your house that you have for dog washing. Essentially, it doesn't need to be the prettiest one or anything like that. But if you have a shower head that is removable, that is great. It's going to be easier for the dog, be less stressed out. And it just kind of makes life easier for you. I also like that this has full doors. Tinkerbell's like, what is going on? Um, but that makes things easier as well. Look at all of this mud you're already getting in there. Aren't you excited for a bath? And then wear clothes that makes more sense for you. Generally speaking, I'm not wearing clothes at all. Um, I just wear underwear just so I don't get like stinky and gross and etc. But didn't think it would be appropriate for this video. And tip number four is get the temperature correct. If you use really cold water or really hot water, your pup is not going to like it. And I just go all the way through and get her soaked first. You're doing such a good job, Mickey. Out of here. Good girl, Tinkerbell. You're such a good puppy. Thank you. Look at all this mud coming off you, puppy girl. Yes. Anyhow, make sure the temperature is correct. Make sure that you're not putting the water down your ears. Just kind of treat your dog like you would treat a baby, and it makes grooming so much easier. Huh. All right, I'm going to turn this off so I can get the rest of her without causing her too much stress. You're being so good. Okay, next tip is get them thoroughly wet before you even go in with the shampoo. So a lot of times people put shampoo on like dry dogs and it's just not going to spread as much. So use less shampoo, takes less time to actually get the um, shampoo out of their actual fur. Stay. And also, just for me, I leave the head for last just because I, it makes it easier for me. But I'm going to start all the way down, starting from her neck and moving down her back, etc. And I, ah! <laughs> I don't like to, nope, you've got to stay, pretty girl. Hey, you sit down. Tinkerbell. Sit. Sit down. Hey, look at me. Sit down. Good girl. Good girl. So I like to put the shampoo in my hands first and then lather it in so it doesn't just get stuck in one spot. Oh, we're gonna get it. Yeah, you're such a good girl. Now also notice the entire time I am grooming, I'm going to be talking to her. Positive affirmation. That is just my training method, period. I'm not a big, you're being a bad girl type of person. I would much rather say good job on things they're doing well. All right, we got some of this. What do we think? Is it gonna come out? Will you feel so much more comfortable? All right.
Also, if you don't have a shower head that comes off, there is a tool from Waterpick that is really amazing and it can attach to either ah, your outside hose or it can attach to your shower head as well, which is really nice. Amiko, are you jealous that you're not in here? Also, generally speaking, <laughs> I uh, have this door shut so the outside is not gonna be super wet. Here, I'm gonna have you turn around, pretty girl. Can we turn around? No, Miki, you stay out there. Good girl, Tinkerbell, will you sit? Sit down. Sit for me, girl. Good girl. So the girls were wrestling upside down is what I'm assuming. They have so much dirt, like actual dirt in the bottom of like right next to their skin. So a lot of this might have to come out as I'm blow drying. So it'll dry and fall out, but we'll see. <laughs> So I know it takes a little longer, but you can see the amount of fur that this dog has. So conditioner is key. If you want to be able to brush your dog, just like you wouldn't put, wouldn't not put conditioner in your hair. Ah, if you have a lot of it, you want to put conditioner in theirs as well. Now that Tink is shaking it out, <coughs> yeah, I know. I need to get rid of all of this mud down here and this muddy dog before clean dog comes in. So scooch your boot, scooch your boot. All right, you are gonna hear Miko crying outside because she's jealous. But next is a towel. You wanna come out? Ooh, careful. much drier already with just the towel. So next will come the blow dryer. And because blow dryers just in general are super stressy for dogs, um, I'll probably just put this on time lapse instead of talking to you so I don't want to make it take too long. What do you think about that? Is that okay? Say whoop. Ah. Oh. Oh. 
But one thing I will say about the blow dryer is it's just like blowing your own hair. Um, start from the top, work your way down so you're not blowing water into other things. And I know I'm just using a regular blow dryer, but you can actually, can you stop running into that? <laughs> But you can actually buy dog blowers that um, instead of heating up, they actually just use air to clean dogs. I'll link to a couple down on Amazon. I just haven't done it yet because Dyson was lovely and sent me one of these. And if you are using um, a hair dryer from your own house, just make sure that it has the cool function. This is cool blast. Or you can turn down um, the temperature with this guy over here. So just make sure that you're not blasting your dog with hot air. You want it to be cool air, you just want the air to move and help dry them up. Yeah, we'll see your sister soon. guys sit through the entire room um, mainly because blow drying takes forever but you can see I work in sections what just let me see you goose <laughs> so all of this is nice and dry right here nice and fluffy I work down the top so I go down the front row and then I start working down the sides as you can see um, I also, if you notice, when I'm blow drying, I always wave the air from side to side. You don't want just one blast of air going at one specific um, part of the fur for that long, because even if it is cool air, you don't want them to overheat. Anything like that. Look at this nice fluff. And the other thing you'll notice in the, what's it called, the time lapse, is that I put my knees here. So you can see I'm not squeezing. Like she can get out if she wants to, etc. It's enough pressure to have her know that she's there and safe, but not make her feel trapped. So I think, obviously, I have mascara everywhere. I look like a mess, etc. But um, you don't want your dog to feel trapped in any type of grooming. If you do that, your dog is going to freak out more and more, and it's just going to make your heart, uh, job harder. One other thing when it comes to blow drying is I give breaks in between. I know some people don't want like wet dog running around their house, but I'll probably do just like a cursory dry over the whole thing so she's not dripping anywhere. Let her run around, let her cool down from being in a very small bathroom <laughs> for this long. And once she stops panting, we'll come back and do more. So I'll catch up with you then. So Tink is probably about 85% dry. You can see all of it down to her skin is nice and dry, but little things like little baby bits of her ears in front of her forehead, a couple of her paws, things like that. I don't think um, need to be dried with a hair dryer and it's about to be bedtime, so I'm sure she'll be happier not having to be blow dried anymore. But now it's your turn. Oh boy. Um, Miko, because she has way less fur than Tinkerbell, is a lot quicker, which is why I did Tinkerbell first. But thank you guys so much for watching. You can definitely tell that it got a little humid in here. My curls are showing, even though I attempted to keep them at bay. But um, if you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down below. And like I mentioned earlier, if you do want me to do kind of more like tips and questions and answer type videos, etc., about the pups, um, leave those suggestions down in the comments below. I am going to go get working on Nico and probably melt the rest of whatever is on my face off. Maybe have a little bit more mascara. But I will see you guys again soon. Bye. You girls are pretty fluffy. Oh. Do you feel so much better now that you're all clean? So much. Good girls.
get back up there. Uh, oh! Good girls.